Let's get started. Let's start by preparing for rendering. We create a fish-like swimming curve. Pressing the 1 key is set to reset the feedback POP. Delete the existing code, then we write the code here. Here's the full code. This is a section by section explanation of the code written in GLSL POP. Select P in the output attribute. Input the defined parameters into a vector. We define the first point using an LFO chop. By avoiding sudden movements, we can prevent the body from intersecting when we later apply the extrude POP. Drag and drop GLSL pop onto feedback POP. Now, we have created a fish-like swimming curve. Let's create the body from the fish-like swimming curve. In the line metrics pop, we add a primitive pop to obtain the tangent and change its type to line strip. Then, we add a line metrics pop to calculate the tangent. We prepare an attribute to define the radius that will shape the fish's body. We add a pattern pop to assign different radius values to each point. Adjust the radius so that it gradually decreases as it moves away from the first points.
we perform an extrude pop to create a structure resembling a backbone. Add an attribute convert pop and perform point to primitive to define the extrusion distance. We then add an analyze pop to obtain the number points. Obtain the number points from pop to one. Define the extrusion distance using the ramp top and the lookup texture POP. Create a group for the extrusion that selects every third point. Perform the extrusion using the previously defined group 1 and distance. Add a lookup texture pop to define the color of the body. We add a ramp top and define its resolution following the same procedure as before. Since the front part has an opening, we create the head using a sphere POP.
Use a delete pop to remove all points except the first point. Adjust the radius of the sphere pop to your preference. After applying some custom settings, 